Are you tired of SD card read and write speeds on Raspberry Pi 4? Well, not anymore. The latest version of Raspberry Pi OS officially supports USB boot to boot any OS directly from SSD or pen drive. Meaning, once you enable USB boot on Raspberry Pi 4, this will update EEPROM or firmware that helps in booting any operating system directly from USB without the need for SD card. The official Raspberry Pi 4 USB boot lets you boot any operating system like Ubuntu, Raspbian OS, Manjaro Linux directly from USB. Hey what's up guys, KSK Rao here. In this video, I will show you the easiest way of enabling USB boot on Raspberry Pi 4 in few minutes. Also make sure to watch the video till to the end without missing any parts. If in case you like my videos, hit that subscribe button right now and turn on the bell button to receive the post notifications. Let's get started. Alright, uh, first we need to do is to flash the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS. As usual, we need an SD card initially to install the OS into it. So go ahead, grab the SD card and connect it to your computer. Now the first link in the description will take you to this website from here. You need to download the latest recommended version of Raspberry Pi OS and save it on your desktop for easier navigation. The second link will take you to the Balina Etcher. Go ahead and download this tool and install it on your computer. Balina Etcher helps in writing the OS image file to the SD card. Now go ahead and extract the Raspberry Pi OS zip file using any extractor. Once it's done extracting, you will see a big file that ends with a .img extension. Now go ahead open Balina Etcher, then select flash from the file and look for the extracted image file and open it. Then select the target option and choose your SD card from here. Once everything is set, now click on flash to start writing the image to the SD card. Now this should take a little bit of a time depending on the writing speeds of the SD card, so sit back and relax. Once it's done, go ahead, eject the SD card and insert into Raspberry Pi 4. Also go ahead, connect the power supply, keyboard, mouse and connect to the monitor using HDMI cable and turn on Raspberry Pi. As you can see, we have successfully booted into Raspberry Pi OS. That being said, moving into step number two, upgrading the base system to the latest version. Now open terminal and type sudo apt update to update the repositories. Once it's done, type sudo apt upgrade y to upgrade the system to the latest version. This is very important. If you miss this step, you won't be able to enable the USB boot or update the EEPROM on your Raspberry Pi 4. Once it's done, reboot your Raspberry Pi 4. 
Step number three, configuring Raspberry Pi 4 for USB boot. Now we have successfully updated the system. Now go ahead, open the terminal again and type sudo raspi-config to configure the Raspberry Pi. Now in here, choose the advanced options, then scroll to the bottom and select the bootloader version and use the latest boot ROM software. Once it is done, now again select the advanced options and this time select the boot order and enable the USB boot. So this is going to update the EEPROM or firmware on Raspberry Pi and helps in booting any OS from USB without the need of SD card. Now as you can see it says the USB device is a default boot drive and we have successfully updated the EEPROM and the Raspberry Pi 4 is ready to boot from USB. If in case you see any error messages, try to upgrade the system and reboot the Raspberry Pi, then repeat step number 3. Now go ahead and reboot the system one more time to affect the changes. That's it, now we have successfully enabled the USB boot on Raspberry Pi 4. You can now start writing any operating system to SSD or pen drive and connect to the USB 3 on Raspberry Pi and boot into any operating system without the need of using SD card. Now let's put that into an action that take us to the last step, copying the OS to SSD. There are two ways you can do it. The one is you can download any supported desktop OS for Raspberry Pi 4 from the web and flash it to SSD using Berliner Etcher. And the other way is directly cloning the current Raspberry Pi OS from SD card to SSD using the SD copier. Now for now, let's just stick with the cloning option by copying the SD card content to SSD. As you can see, this is my external SSD. I'm going to go ahead and connect to the Raspberry Pi through USB 3. Now inside the Raspberry Pi OS, we need to download the Gported Partition Manager to partition the drive properly. If in case your external drive is not formatted or partitionized properly, then you need to use a Gported to prepare for cloning the current OS to SSD from SD card. Go ahead and download the Gported from the App Store. Once it's installed, open the Gported. And from the top right, choose SSD here and as you can see there are a few partitions present inside this SSD and we need to delete all the partitions one by one. Go ahead select each partition and choose to unmount and delete the partition. Once you are done deleting all the partitions inside the SSD, you can see the whole space is shown as unallocated. Now go ahead, click on the tick mark to confirm the changes. Now open SD card copier from accessories. Once it's open, under the copy from the device, choose SD card. And the copy to the device is going to be SSD. This is going to clone the current Raspberry Pi OS which is present on SD card to SSD. Once it's done, click on start. The process will take some time depending on the speeds of SSD, so sit back and relax.
all right now you can see we have successfully done cloning to ssd now go ahead shut down the raspberry pi 4. once it's completely powered off eject the sd card and turn on the raspberry pi 4. and this time the raspberry pi should boot from ssd instead of sd card now if in case you see any errors from booting through a USB device or if Raspberry Pi fails to detect a boot screen, reconnect your SSD back to the USB. As you can see guys, now I have booted from SSD. Overall, I would say booting up from SSD improves both boot as well as IO speeds when compared to SD card. I have noticed there is a huge bump in speed while running Raspberry Pi OS from SSD. Everything feels super snappy and all the applications opens up instantaneously without any lag. Lastly, I ran the disk speed test on both SD card as well as SSD and these are the results. That's it guys, now we have a successfully enabled USB boot on Raspberry Pi 4. This way you can directly flash any OS image to SSD using Balina Etcher and directly boot from it without the need of SD card. Now if in case you like these kind of videos, hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see a versatile tech videos. Also give me your suggestions and queries in the comment section down below and I consider it improving my channel. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will catch you in my next video. Peace.